Okay, okay, I think we're ready to go, more or less. Here. Alright. Been a while, been a little bit more than a week. But we are back at it. Let's hang out for a bit. We are back to Z Grind. The Battle Network Grind. This. Let me swap it over, volumes all the way off. There we go. So, let's see. <clears throat> what? Okay, what was the plan? It's, <laughs> it's been a little bit more than a week, so I need to figure out what I need to do. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Hold on. I forgot to turn off my fan. That's going to create a long noise. Give me a second. There, I turned off the fan. Now I'm gonna be suffering, because it's gonna get hot. Actually, how hot will it be today? Oh, damn. <laughs> oh. oh, no. It's gonna, pro it's gonna be like 95 midstream, most likely. Ooh. We'll see how long I'm actually going to stream until I decide to turn the fan back on or decide to stop streaming because I'm like, it's too hot. I need to get out of here. <laughs> I need to stay cool. Anyway, uh, what, okay, so what was I doing last time? Okay, I'm missing four HP memories somewhere. Um. All right. I was getting SP chips. Yeah, yeah, I was working on... I was working on Mega Chips. Because we need to be able, We need to open the door to, uh, Graveyard. That's right. This man. And I get... Oh, the only reason I have these EXs is due to the... Folder. Open and then Kernel. Count, and we got Count EX. Jingo. I don't know where you get Jingo 3. Oh, wait, no, I think I do know where I get that. Uh, okay. Yeah, the main goal was to do this. Mirror Knuckle Cross Divide. We have the Falzar from the gift one. We have all this because of, uh, the patch cards, which I see no reason not to use it, honestly. Okay. Come on, let me look. What do I have? Well, I can set up the uh, two program advances. Alright, um, okay. So last time, the main goal was to work on EX variants, right? But now that I'm remembering, I remember one thing that we were actually going to do this stream. We were going to do these event ones from for the new request BBS stuff. Yeah, we're going to do all this. This is all new to me. Can I just accept them all now? Oops, wrong button. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do these side quests. Kind of wish I could accept more than one at a time, but whatever. I think this is gonna be the priority for this stream. Three more, three more. Gee, I hope they're actually translated. Because the images are showing, you know, Japanese text. Anyway. Alright. Let's go ahead and start these new side quests. Alright, let's see. All of them are added up to the top. There's only one you could do 
right at the start. We'll go in star order, and then from uh, bottom to up. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this one. I've been tricked. I bought some diet goods, and they don't work at all. I want my money back. Someone help me get my money back. Come to the hallway on the first floor of Cyber Academy. All right, well, let's get this started. So, this diet one you can do as soon... It sounds like you could do this one as soon as you're able to start the side quests. But because it's the only one star variant, you should be able to start the level two side quests a little bit sooner. But not much sooner, right? You took my request. I'm the requester, thank you. I just started a new diet recently. I like to lose about 20 pounds. So I saved up my allowance and bought diet supplies. I bought a supplement called Lean Mean. But it didn't make me lean at all. I actually gained five pounds. It was a fraud. It crashed my fragile little heart. So I tried to go and get my money back. But it wouldn't, they wouldn't even listen to me. It was awful. So I want you to go get my money back. The person selling the diet supplies is probably a seaside area. I, wanted to get, I really want my allowance money back. Please help. Yeah, if, don't trust diet pill stuff because they never work. You know what works? Uh, it just it don't eat lunch, you know, stuff like that, you know? Maybe buy some healthier food instead of the McDonald's every day, I don't know. There are a few other ways of doing it and then and, 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 and just buy diet supplements. Anyway. Seaside area. I don't know where I need to go. Let's just start with area one. I don't remember you being there. How would you like to get some great diet goods? Don't you want to look your best by using lean mean? Huh? No effect. Hey kid, quit making up lies like that. Where's your proof? Come on, let's see it. I haven't done a single thing outside the law. This is just an elaborate shakedown. If you keep it... So if you keep it up, I'm gonna sue your pants off. If you don't like that idea, then get out of here now. I mean, he's gonna sue us. I mean, he can if he wants, but we got the power of the law. He's the one up to something, not us. We should find someone who knows more about fraud. Okay. I think we can just go straight back in. Because remember, we are a part of the... Uh, uh, of the... Uh, lawyer system. Oh, you can't talk to them here? Right, okay. We probably need to actually go to Green Area. Or Green Town. Yeah, okay, never mind. We need to find talk to an actual lawyer in Greentown. Greentown. Okay. Let's go ahead and find this lawyer to help us with fraud. Where are you? Uh, you were a trade. Yeah. What about... Okay, anyone in here? I'm a lawyer here. Justice wins. That's my motto. What? Fraud? Tell me about it. I see, I see. A fraud that preyed on, a, on the pure heart of a child who simply wanted to lose weight. This will not be forgiven. Never! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, they used H's instead of R, so it's never! <laughs> Leave it all up to me. I'll even get my, some of my lawyer friends to help out on the case. I'll bury that merchant up to, to his CPU and lawyer and piece nabbies. We are going to make that cr cry, Uncle. This is another time where justice wins! Okay. I guess we're setting that up. 
And now I think we just need to go back to Seaside area. Okay, so for this side quest, you need to be able to go to Green Town. So maybe you can't do it immediately. Like, immediately when you're able to do side quests, but it probably wouldn't take much more effort. <clears throat> Nowadays, they have something called chilling out. But since there are creeps like you, people's suffering have increased. Nag, 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 nag. Did you ever think of the feelings of your victims? Nag, 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 nag. We've got rules in this world. You're going down for fraud, buddy. Nag, 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 nag. What's with these lawyers? These guys are in absolute pain. Forgive me already. I've done wrong. If it's just money, I'll give it back all to all my customers. I'll go to the bank and send it all back. Just get these lawyers off my back. They're annoying me to death. Is that it? Okay, the lawyers say the same thing. He says the same thing. Is that it? Let's go talk to the requester. To see if that changes anything. Because it seems like that's it. I don't know what else I could do. I guess I could talk to the lawyer. Again. That might be... I might have to talk to the lawyer again. Let, let's just talk to the que requester. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Oh, you're back. I just checked my bank account. The money's back. Thank you. I'll give you your reward in one payment. 5,000 zenny. I'm going to use my allowance to buy dice supplies. You mind if I say something? Where is it? You say you're fat, but I think it's all due to those fries you're holding. Hmm. Never thought about that. No, he's not wrong. And it, well, okay, so that's a quick side quest to give you some 5,000 zenny. That, that doesn't take long. That's not, that's not bad. You do have to be able to go to Greentown, though. Now we'll do the level two stuff. I've got a bully problem, and I need help solving it. Can someone help? If you can, please meet me at the monitor comp in Cyber Academy's foyer. All right. I'm not 100% sure when you can start this one, but obviously you have to, okay. There's a way to figure this out, more or less. So remember, you have to do all of the level 1 missions before you can do level 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10 level 1 missions here. But the problem is they're spread out throughout the game. And I'm not 100%... I don't 100% remember when you get the uh, these two. But it does mean that once you get these two... You can use this one as well. But at the same time, it's not going to get you level twos. Assuming you had to be all level one stars to get level twos. I'm not, I, I don't exactly remember. So I don't think the extra mission is actually saving you any time. I don't think so. It's just an extra 5,000 Zen. And if you're going to do all side quests anyway, it doesn't really matter. However, if you're trying to, like, get to three stars as soon as possible and just do bare minimum, maybe doing that one instead of a different one would uh, be faster versus the reward. I don't know. Now you're here. I'm the one who put up the request. Let me introduce myself. <clears throat> I work for the Net Police. I work in the Juvenile Crime Division. This division works with juvenile problems. <clears throat> Honestly, I have, a, I have a case at the school. One of the students here is being bullied in class. 
So the juvenile crime division was called called in to sort things out. I'd like your help in resolving this problem. The victim is a kid, so he might feel more comfortable talking to, with someone his own age. Around this time of day, the kid being bullied is always playing with the, with a robot dog by himself. Do you mind going to have a talk with him? You were just there. Well, at least it's not that far of a walk. What do you want? I just wanted to see what you were doing by yourself. Don't play with. Don't you play with friends from school? Everyone from school is using the net now. Since I'm no good at virus busting, they don't let me play. But I don't care. I've got a great friend in this robo dog, Pooch. Right, Pooch? Do you hate school? I don't like it. And I hate virus busting class. The teacher always makes me do things in front of the class. <clears throat> I always fail. And it makes me look stupid. Your teacher just wants you to get better is all. No way! My teacher knows inside I hate that I hate it. I don't want to go to class anymore. You don't learn. You can never use the net with people from school. I don't care if I can't use it. I just want to be by myself, Pooch. Right, Pooch? Pooch? Hey, Pooch. What's the matter? Oh no, he can't move anymore. Huh? He was just moving a second ago. What happened? No! Pooch! Don't cry, I'll do something. Must be a virus in this robo dog that just materia materiated out of nowhere. What are you doing here? I'm sick of all this dog's crying and yapping. It grates on my ears. I'm going to make sure it stops. Hey, you. Hey, you yelpy mutt. Can you hear me? I'm gonna beat up your blue, blue friend now. Watch this. L what? That's a bit rude. Rude? That'd be. That'd be you, tough guy. The security on this robo-dog is too weak. He must be worried about something, huh? For instance, someone not wanting to go to school. Is it my fault? If you've got any net battling skills, you should be able to defeat me and save this dog. Don't you agree? Um, sorry to interrupt, but you're... Ah, it's your turn soon. Let's try the, let's try the kid again. You can have to do this for him. Yeah. From now on, this is up to you. Time to scatter some real viruses. You defeat them, the kids should figure things out. He's gonna get stronger. Gotcha. All right, time to introduce this dog to my vet, uh, to my virus friends. Ah, stop it, please stop it. Just leave this one to me. I'll show you how to protect this dog. If I do this, I have to remember, when it cries, just ignore it won't make it, just ignoring it won't make it stop. Okay. All right, let's go. Battle routine set. Execute. Yeah, yeah, the, the police guy's disguised himself. Well, might as well go double beast. With very weak viruses. Just some nets. Here, you can't do this until, like, end... Basically, end game, more or less. Because it's a rank 2 mission. You got me! Alright, take this robo-dog back now. R really? Thank you! You're welcome. This time I was here to help you. But if this happens again, then... It's up to me. I'm going to practice net battling so I can defend Pooch. Alright, that sounds like a plan. Yeah! Ah, oh, you got me. That's it. I'm going to try and get better at net battling. Thank you, protect Pooch. There has to be more to this. There has to be more. That was too easy. Uh, you're back. Thanks for helping. The truth is, the Navi who just attacked the dog is a member of my division. It was all an act. <laughs> well, is that kid okay? Okay, I thought it was the same guy, but no, they just work together. It's all thanks to you. Take this gift. Folder pack one. Off to my next assignment. Next up is a problem at an elementary school. Tisk tisk. That was okay. Why? That was too easy. Why is that a level two mission? Uh, it might be a Navi customizer program. 
Yeah, I think so. Okay, it wasn't Mega Folder, it was... No. Slip on our body pack. Folder Pack 1. A 2-pack Custom 1 and Mega Folder. Okay. It's a yellow code. Um... So, I could probably fit that in if I flip this around. The trade-off, though, is I won't have be able to have this attack plus one. And I lose out on two custom ones. I can see how it could be. Oh, wait, hold on. I just thought of something. Let me pull up... Uh, let me go ahead and pull up the stuff. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can shrink it down. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. Uh, okay. A, B, L, R, R, B, R, L, B, A. Uh, yeah, it's something. It's something. It, it doesn't seem like that bad of an add-on. I feel like the only reason it's level 2, it's because of the reward. Not because it's difficult to actually complete the side quest. Alright, well, in that case, again, I'm only I'm gonna do level 2s right now. Um, I think you can tell from the post title. So that's it. If you, could get, if you can help get the penguins... Come to the piranha tank at the aquarium. Alright, well, penguins have run away again. Let's go get those penguins back. see how we could get the penguins back. Again, like, 5,000 Zenny, that was a quick mission you could do basically as soon as you're able to do side quests. Wait, did I never... Okay, yeah, I just never fought you. And I need to go Tomahawk. So that way I can take down the sword guy. Done. Yeah, I get rid of this guy. Because why not? Oh, up and around. Alright. <clears throat> oh, you come from my request. I'm the penguin manager at this aquarium. Actually, five of our penguins have, um, run away. Right now, the penguins in the penguin corner are well behaved. But the penguins that ran off were kept in a special room since they never listened to me. Maybe they left the aquarium and into under other towns. If the director finds out about this. Please help. Find those penguins. So, there are five penguins just out and about. But it's not these penguins. There's a different set of penguins that we have never seen before. So basically, you can't you can only do the side quest as soon as you're able to probably be able to go to ACDC. Because he's saying they could be in any other town. So let's let's take a look around. I don't think any of them are actually oh nope never mind one's here and then capture okay there was one still in seaside town but i think the rest are going to be in other towns oh there's probably one in each town that's probably going to be the case 
These penguins got on different buses. Alright, let's take a look around Central and see if we can find another penguin. I don't remember what I traded him. Let's see. He might... could be in the school. You know what, let's check the school first. Does he... If it's in the Expo Center, then you cannot do this until Endgame. Well, let's take a look around the school first. Let's see. Nope. Can't do anything about those. Oh! I didn't realize you were here. Let's get rid of you. Oh, wow. Super corn. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of them. Alright. Oh, yep, here he is. All the way out here. This thing really moved. Penguin capture. Oh yeah, you're the quiz guy. Alright, so good thing he's in what is it, class 5-2? Is that what it was? 6-2, whatever in the school and not at the expo. So it's a good thing you can't, you don't need to be at end game, you know. Let's go to Greentown. Let's go and see what's, where he's at in Greentown. I wonder if he's at the judge tree. The penguin's on trial. Here. Nope. Okay, let's just go in here. Lawyer's not here, that's fine. Don't see the penguin. No, I don't see him. Where is he? I talked to you, right? Yeah, you were the poem one. Okay, so he's not in the jail. Did he go into the underground? Or uh, the basement floor? Uh, no. I don't, hold on. There's still another spot I could check. But so far I don't see the penguin. Up here, no. One other spot. Oh, the penguin is not in Greentown. I did not see a single penguin. Uh, let's go to Sky then. So that means there could be another one in Central. Check like the teacher's lounge or the expo. We we'll go there last though. Let's go ahead and check, take a look at uh, Sky Town. See anything down here? Nope. Dingo's fine. Okay. Time to take a look around. Let's go ahead and check down here first. Oh, you were a folder guy. That's right. Here, check around Mr. Weather. I'm not seeing a penguin. If I check this exit, there is just the sub chip guy. Chip trailer. Okay, no. No penguin on this end. Again, they really need to put that bridge back up. The one that broke off. This exit. Don't see anything. Huh. Okay. I, I still don't see another penguin. 
I could check the solar uh, orb thing. Hmm. Looks like an ad's gonna start soon. Let's see. I don't. Huh. Not in Sky Area. Then. Huh. Okay. Well, I still got ACDC to check. I thought I would find another one by now. There's. It's not like they're going to be on the net. Let's check ACDC area. At least this is an easy, easy look through. Not Huh. Okay, it's not an easy you see. I guess we're going back to central. Huh, I've only found two of them. Okay, let's check teachers or lounge. Let's check let's check the teachers lounge. I did not go that way. Cause I was thinking there was gonna be one in each town. just run around and just see if I can find the penguin. I mean, when it's just running around like this, I think I could go ahead and take a look. No, not here. Again, I've only found two of the penguins. Down and around. Nothing there. Can't check that way. What about down here? I don't see a penguin. Nothing over here. Get rid of that guy just to get rid of them. But let me check here. Where were the penguins? Okay, ad ended. Um, I ran around the other areas and I don't see any other penguins. I checked every other area. I can't think of another spot to check. Um. I don't know where else to check. Uh, I guess I'll go back to Seaside and see if uh, the guy says anything. But I think the ad popped up in the principal's lounge, the uh, principal's office, right? So I, I took the shortcut through to the expo and there was no penguins. I didn't see any other penguins. I don't know where else to check. It's not like there's going to be different endings. I should have gone like Tengu or something. Yeah, let's go Tengu. There we go. Took a little too much damage for that fight, but eh, it worked out. Okay. I'm going back to Seaside and see if I can find... And I'm going to talk to the guy. Oh, wait. Let's check in here. Asterland. Oh, there's one in Asterland. He came here to buy ships. Weird, weird penguin. 
Okay, so there was one in Asterland. Okay. There's not one in my house, is there? What in the world? In my own house. Wow. Okay, hiding in my bathroom. Okay, there's not in my room. Not in the room. Um, okay. Well, that's four. Is there another room I missed? You know what? Let's go ahead and check Seaside again. I thought the penguins would have gone on different buses and ended up in different towns. There is one other spot I could check in Seaside. I didn't look. Again, I thought there was going to be one in each town. Again, you probably can't do this mission until, like, close to end game anyway. There! There! I found it! We got all the penguins now. Okay. So it's just Seaside and Central Town. It, it feels like you could do this one a lot sooner. Why is this a level 2 mission? Thank you. Thank you so much, really. Thanks to you, I'm not going to get fired. Here's the token of my fit thanks. I'm, I'm going to make sure they don't run off again. What the? What did I just get? Is it a Navicast? Millions, humor, slip runner, body pack. No, it's not a Navicus program. What? What did I just get? Attack ship. No, not that. Yeah. Yeah, I got a new profile picture. I got a new banner, and I got some panels, Tyler. Yeah. Some things have changed after I was gone. How's it going, Tyre? Been over a week since I was streaming. Where's this, where's this thing I just got? Rush food. Seaside key. Reference book. There we go. A plate? A pink penguin plate? I think? A plate in the shape of a penguin. This is just to get a lotto number? Three two one three two three four eight. Is that the Django or the Count pro uh, Lotto number? You know what? I'm actually gonna look this one up. I already did all the Lotto numbers, but I want to know what this specifically gives you. Uh, three two one. Let me go to like battle ship, I guess. No, it's not count. It's not Django. What did this give me? Can I go by lotto number? Yeah, that would be 321. 32348. This gives you rush. Navi customizer part. Huh. Okay. Just got a lot of important stuff done today. Very nice. Very nice. Actually, before stream, I actually, uh, Worked a little bit on uh, like script writing, so I got a little bit of stuff done. I, a little bit more productive today. Uh, so right now, I, I ended last stream with like going after some of the navvies, but right now, before going back to the navvy hunting, we're doing the DLC uh, uh, requests. The ones that were from the e-reader in Japan. So these are like brand new to me. Have you done have you done these side quests, Tyler? <laughs> Alright, so let's again I'm going star order at the moment. Like this was the one of the new ones. I, this is the only one star out of the DLC ones. And honestly, the Penguin one and the Juvenile Detective or Division, 
Even though these were two stars, they were so easy. They easily could have been one stars, but the only reason they were two stars is probably because of the reward, honestly. Anyway. <clears throat> Hi, I'm a Scilab member. I need help updating the electronics at the aquarium. Okay. If you want the job, come to the aquarium turtle tank. Okay. Alright, another... Another side quest to Seaside. Time to head back there. Okay, so you did do all of the... All of these side quests. But yeah, I, I... I find it weird how, like... The two two star missions that I just did were super easy. They could have been a one star, including the e-reader stuff. Yeah, yeah, working on that right now. Uh, I I think the only reason they were two star was for the reward that you got. I think that's the only reason. Oh, thank you so much. I made the request here. I work at the Sci Labs. Today I'm here on the at the aquarium to update electronics. But there are so many items I can't do it by myself. So I was hoping you could help me with the updates. You'll need this. I'll take care of the electronics inside the aquarium. I'd like you to update the main computer in the control room, okay? There should be three Mr. Frogs in the main computer, okay? Please give them all the update data. Is that okay with you? Thanks for helping. Okay, so this requires me to go into the, the dungeon. So now we're actually doing something of actual competency, I guess. Somewhat. Oh, uh, this is the firing comp? Yes, yes, I've heard about the update. Completed. This update will affect my processing speed. It seems it will race uh, rapidly. I can't wait. Okay. Is there one in each area? Wait, yeah, other than these requests, I'm working on the... Sorry, I'm working on the... Uh, navvies. I've been waiting. The update, right? I've been waiting for it. Completed. My mind. I feel so refreshed. I'll definitely be able to work hard now. Okay, I missed the one in area two. Oh, duh. It was right... He was right there. I don't know why. I just... Oh, okay. Whatever. My mind just ignored him for some reason. He just didn't appear to me. You got some business with me? An update? I'm listening. Completed. Now I feel... Wow. I feel lighter. And on my feet all of a sudden. Thank you. That was too easy. That was way too easy. There has to be more to this. There has to be more. Mm hmm This is really hard to talk about. I made a mistake and give you old update data, okay? Pretty big mistake. Might not be compatible with the installed data. And those Mr. Progs might be overheating right now. This is the latest update. Do you mind replacing this old data with this? I'll definitely increase your reward for helping. I'm sorry, okay? Really sorry, okay? Alright, so... Have to go back and talk to him again. It didn't take that long to find them anyway. You know, the Navi chips was fun. And then we hate Surf's man. <laughs> oh, was he very annoying? Was Circus Man the one that took you the longest or something? Hey, is, is he just out and about here? In each area, or are they all at the end? Mmm. I don't need to fight anything here. Let's see. The only ones that I've gotten the Navi chips for, like, done, but well, obviously we roll, but I got Aquaman, Tengu Man, and Ground Man. Those are the only ones I got done. Like, I got all the boss Navis running around. Uh, 
as well grab the industry data. I got them all out and about in terms of the map. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Gregar. Thanks for that. I just wanted the green mystery data, but no. Okay, I don't I don't see the Mr. Frog here. But yeah, after these requests, we're gonna go after Navi's. That way we could get into the next uh graveyard area. Oh okay, no, he is here. Hot, hot, hot. Help! Wait, I'll update your data to the latest version. Th thank you. I was almost burnt to a quit crisp. Alright, well, this doesn't seem too hard. I thought that I would have to fight like a virus or something. You know, so far these have been pretty simple. And I'm wondering why. And I think it's because these were e-reader, you know? I'll do this. And I think it's because the e-reader can only hold so much data that these missions there, that there's not much to these missions to store onto an e-reader card. But you know, the data has to be in the game already, you know. It's it, the e-reader card was literally just the key to unlock it, right? Wait a second. I'll hurry up and update your data. Because so far, these, these missions have been pretty simple. Granted, like... I actually don't know, now that I'm thinking about it. Is the e-reader card, like, a key? To just unlock the mission because the data has to already be in the game or is it actually sent is it actually sending data i'm pretty sure it's just a key and if it is just a key then that doesn't explain why these missions have so far been like super simple and super easy granted i am doing these like at the end of the game so i don't know I, I have no clue. Just spitballing here. Ugh, you really bailed me out. Not hurt at all. You don't have to worry. I'm okay. Well, that's that. Again, very simple. Even if I were doing... Even if I was doing these missions as soon as I could, I couldn't do these till near close to endgame anyway. Thank you. You installed the latest data for me. It was really a stupid mistake, okay? I'm really sorry. Okay, here's your reward. Mega Folder 2. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. If I ever need help, I'll call you. So, a second Mega Folder 2. Right? No, this is the only way to get my Mega Folder 2. Okay. Right? This is the only way to get it. Yeah, this is the only way to get it. L-A-L-R-B-L-R-L-R-A. Man, I could throw this in if I wanted to. I would have to get rid of undershirt for it, though. Okay. I mean, such a simple request to get... to go ahead and get uh, Mega Folder 2, you know? Honestly, if th this wasn't an e-reader card, I feel like the, it would have to have... It would make me do a lot more for a reward like that. Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can find... Let me see if I can find something. Because you can't do these missions so way later anyway. So, what if I do cycles? Let me look at this. Cyclist is not the thing I should look for. Uh, request BBS? Is that... Request BBS. That's what I want. Okay, so I specifically want... Okay, hold on. 
before I set, uh, before I, uh, look at this, I want to look at when do I get, when do I get access to songwriter? That's the real question. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, once you finish songwriter, that's when you can start doing level two missions. But, like, since I think you get these two at the same time, getting diet goods won't let you do level 2 missions sooner or anything. So, let me... Let me look. Um, okay, so I'm looking for Songwriter. When do I get that one? Okay. It says starts in the middle of chapter six. Middle of chapter six, okay. And what is chapter six? The kernel stuff? And it, so yeah, like you have to be doing like this, the, the sections where we're kind of dealing with Colonel and uh, Mega Man goes berserk again, gets captured by Circus Man. So it sounds like you get access to this somewhere in the middle of that section of the game, which is right before the expo opens up. So you can't even access the level two missions this late anyway. You basically need to be at endgame, more or less, to do these level 2 missions. Anyway, self-research. I don't think I'm... I don't think I will finish in time for my research presentation. My class 1-1 one, one comp. Someone help. Alright, class 1-1. One, one. Let's go take a look. I, I, I just find the structure of the request BBS to be very weird for this game. I get how they're like wanting you to get a certain amount of points before you can do the next level, but you can't do them until later anyway. Let's get down to the details. So why not just have it to where get rid of the star missions, but then just swap the missions around? I don't know. I just don't see the point. I'm looking for. I'm looking to program advances as far as my own individual research. But finding a PA is super difficult. I was hoping that you could assist me in my research. Right now, I'm researching PAs that poison an enemy area. I've seen other people using this, and it can make an enemy's HP drop like a rock. I'd like you to find out how to activate this program advance. To figure it out. Please show me the PA memo. You know about PA memos, right? If you successfully activate a program advance in battle, it gets registered. Then you can view your program uh, PA memo in the data library. Thanks for the help. Can't wait to see the program. Okay, this one might actually take some time. This one might actually take some time. I can see why this one could be a level 2 mission. But I think it will really depend on what chips you will need. Besides, I, I need to go through and see what program advances I need to do anyway. <coughs> okay. I guess we'll take care of some <coughs> program advances. I need to set up high cannon. <coughs> Get rid of corn, I guess. <coughs> Start with this one. I'm gonna pull up a uh, program advance list. See what I can add to it. Program advance. Program advance. All right. Let's see. Let's use dust. We'll 
just leave this one around. Man, I really wish I had Fast Gauge. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get rid of Guardian. No. And, and I guess. Uh, maybe it would have been... No, you can only get rid of two chips. I could have only gotten rid of two. Two, right? Yeah. So I'll do. No, I could get rid of three. Yeah, I could do this. All right. And this allows me to get rid of a lot of stuff. I will do that. <clears throat> uh, I like to, to shoot for this reason. Uh. <clears throat> So yeah, what's been uh, what's been going on, Tyler? You said you were working on a project. What pro what project were you working on, if you don't mind me asking? Program advance. Giga Cannon Two. There we go. That's done. Let's go ahead and get M Cannon in here. S T. Oh, right. You can't go in. It has to be less than 60. So that's the best I could do. Ooh. Oh, you're making a retrospective of the Oracle games. Interesting. And how's that going for you? Two out of three. Let's go ahead and get dust. I didn't remember you were. I. You just said you you were doing support and stuff, so I just said project. I don't know why. I don't know why I specifically said project, but hey. hey. Anyway. Oh, yeah, how's that going for you then? Like, uh, hey, it just so happened it was working on a project. Exactly. It just kind of worked out. But how's it going? How's that going for you? And what what's it actually about? Or other... Okay, you, you said it was about the Oracle games, but specifically, what's the topic? Just a general review of the games, or is there something else to it? Hey, look, it's Falzar. Too bad I, I shouldn't use it. Yeah, we got time to kill. Man, I really wish I had Fast Gauge. Alright. S, T, and U. There we go. Getting footage stage so far, getting J. Okay, so a, a review slash historical. Okay, okay. But just playing through the two games to get footage. Very nice. Let me take a look at... Program Fences. Oh. Alright, so... Wide burn. Do I have the program? Do I have the chips for these? Not for the first one, but I can do wide burn too. We'll set up this program in advance. And here I'm just like, oh, let's just do side quests, but the side quest requires specific program advances, so let's just get what I can done now. So, how are you going to handle talking about 
uh, the whole uh, the connection sort of thing. How how the they connect to each other with codes or the link cable and things change. You know, like are you gonna have to play the game, play each game twice, just so you could get footage of both routes if you play them in a certain order? Like, how are you gonna handle that? Yeah, that way you get one playthrough where you play Seasons, then Ages, and on that, that playthrough of Ages, you start bringing in codes and see what what's new added. And then you can do the other way around where you do fresh playthrough on Ages, second playthrough on Seasons, and get all the codes for that. Can I do Fireburn 3? No, I can't. I can't do Fireburn 3. So let's see. <clears throat> okay, so that's the plan for now. We'll see how it feels. Yeah, that's the thing. When the eight, when the Oracle games went to Switch not long ago, I decided, oh, I want to play through these games. And I clicked through Seasons first, I believe. And when I got to Ages, I just kind of got burnt out already. Like, it did... I think it's because the games are too similar to each other that I get burned out very quickly. But those games kind of want you to play them back-to-back. -back. You know? You wave on. Where's wave on? Did I pass it? I might have passed it. Yeah, I think I passed it. Come on. Wave on, wave on. No? I didn't pass it? Where is it? Um... Masa, like sword, element sword... There's wave. Okay. The F and G. Go ahead and put these on the shortcuts. Oh, there's going to be ad. Oh, there is an ad. <laughs> I didn't notice. Well, there was an ad there, and I didn't notice, but luckily you didn't miss anything. I've been trying to do a better job when the ads are played, to just kind of sit there and let the ad play. But I actually just did not see that the ad was playing, so what do you do? Get to show that off. And then you can fire it. G. Program Advance. Power Wave 1. Oh, okay. It's probably the three rows. I see. That's very interesting. While doing some research, started out as a remake of the original game, but they realized it was going to be different in so many ways. They jumped straight to the original time. I feel like I heard that. I feel like I heard that before. I have the Hyrule Historia, and actually I have all... Uh, all three of those, so I think I read it in there before. But yeah, uh, there was also going to be a third game as well, but I think they just couldn't handle another set of codes to keep track of, so they scrapped the third game. Wave on two. Oh, I can't, I can't do wave on two. So let's see... 
Power Wave 1. Fiesta Parashell. Luck plus? I'm up. Okay, hold on. Elect Pulse? Oh, Elect Pulse. I only have Elect Pulse 2. And you need 1, 2, and 3J. Okay, I don't have that. Time Bomb. What about Time Bomb? Do I have enough time bombs? Where are you? They're raid, they're raid. I don't even have time bomb one. It's one, two, or three, but you need all three of whatever variants. Okay, so I can't do time bomb. Uh, do I have any aura heads? Let's see. Nope, no, 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 go back. Do I have any of the aura heads? Sandworms. Where are you? Do I not have any? Did I use them up? I thought it. Oh, here we go. Oh, I only have two. That's not enough. It has to be one, two, or three, but they lead to the same one. Okay, I don't have wide I don't have a single wide shot, so I can't do that. Um I have H burst, I have Life Sword. Great yo-yo. I don't even know if I have yo-yo. I don't even have air hockey. I don't have pit hockey set up. Uh let me let me look for yo-yos. Oh no! I do have yo-yo. L, M, and N. Okay, at least choose that one as the regular chip. All right, let's get that going. And we'll get yo-yos going. Yeah, I think they want me to use Poison Pharaoh again. I only have two out of three. We'll get rid of this one. We'll get rid of these chips. Yeah, to head out, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, have a good day, Tyler. Have a good day. Thanks for stopping by. What do we got? Let's just start getting those things. Let's see. Here are these. You scrap the third game, which is the wise decision. I feel better to stretch a little thin if they have them. Yeah, exactly. I just don't know if the Game Boy Color could have handled it. If it was GBA, maybe. There we go. Program Advance. Great to go. There we go. How many times does it hit? Either way. So we got great yo yo. Alright. So let's see. It's going to be Poison Pharaoh. Because there's Bodyguard, which I don't even know if I can do. Actually, can I do? Can I set up Bodyguard? We could do Double Hero, but I don't have Proto Man SP. Not yet, anyway. Let's see. Where's the anti. We have Anti-Sword. We need the other two. And I think they would be here. So, no, we can't do... We can't use Bodyguard. We can't do Double Hero. We can't do Darkness. Master Cross? No. Can't do that either. Sun Moon? Oh, right. I forgot they have Program Advances for some of the other games. That reference the other games. Uh, oh, okay. So I think Double Hero is a reference to Battle Network One. Darkness is a reference to Battle Network Two because it's it's, it's named Dark Messiah. Uh, Master Cross that's a reference to Three. Sun Moon that's on Blue Moon. Twin Leaders, which there's two ways of doing that, but I can't I can't do that one. 
I cross over, which was not in the original GBA version. Which, it's because of Django, which I can't do. Uh, okay, so... Actually, I might be able to use Sun Moon. Hold on. Uh, I have Attack plus 30. Meteors and... Un oh, no, I don't have the right uninstall. Okay. Do I have Meteors R? I know I have Meteors. Let's see. Yes, I do. So, I would need Meteors. Uh, I would need uninstall. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out Poison Pharaoh. Do I have Anubis? I don't think I do. If I don't, uh, do I also have Poison Seed? Because I need both of those. No, on the Dragon, Aqua Needle. I'm not seeing Anubis or Poison Seed. Grass and Ice Seed. Okay, we don't have Poison. That's a for sure thing. And I don't see Poison Pharaoh. Alright, I don't see Anubis. Let me throw this back to how I had it. Corn Fiesta. Or Corn Shot. I think I have the two R's. And I had fire hits. There we go. All right, that's fixed. Let me go ahead and pull up a chip list. And let's go ahead and find Anubis and Poison Seed. I gotta go. I gotta find it in here. Hold on. So give me a minute. Okay. Dragons, golem hits. There's spins. Uh, let's see. Wind, fan, magnum, circle gun, rock cube, little bump, holder, or boiler, air raid, air raid, time bomb. I'm missing one time bomb, and I don't remember which one it is. Graveyard one blue mystery data found that one. Bottle number, I did that one. So it's... Wait, hold on a minute. Which time bomb three am I missing? I'm missing L. I'm missing L. How do I get L? Legacy Pokemon. Graveyard, Graveyard 1 Blue Mystery Data. Oh, okay, okay. I needed to go back with, like, Dustman or something. Which I didn't do that, because I was going to save it for after I opened the door. Right. Uh, sorry. Uh, I think I passed Poison Seed. But I gotta find Anubis. We can't do this. Uh, Anubis is in Graveyard 2. And I can't even access there yet. Well, uh, let me look up... Let me go ahead and look up the... Poison Seed. And figure out where that is. And then we can at least do that. Poison Seed. Sky. Oh. Sky Area 1 Bug Frag Trader. And then we can use the chip order to buy another one. So we need a. Ugh. Basically, we need to Bug Frag Yon Grind for that. Alright, well, I guess we're taking a pause on the. on the. On the requests. Let me take a look. I know this is like the final batch. Right here, near the end. And I guess it, I could see why it would be a two star because the mission itself is not hard. It's just you need to do a lot just to be able to do that. 
It's the final two-star one. Maybe you can make an argument that it should have been a three-star. All right, well, um, I guess we'll go back to Navi hunting. Who was I working on next? We got Tomahawk. We got Tomahawk and Dustman, right? Yeah, okay, and Proto Man. Let's go ahead and get that going. Uh, Tomahawk is in the sky. I mean, I could cancel the request, but nah. We'll just leave it. We'll just leave it. All right, let's go ahead and get Tomahawk Man done. Let's go ahead and net battle. Get the EX and the SP chip. All right. Wow. We're already starting with Fire Hit 2. Let's go ahead and go... I guess I'll also go Tomahawk. I don't think it's going to hurt anything. Playing Hook 2. Go ahead and deal 700 damage to him. Oh, I missed that. Duh. Yeah, this... <laughs> Okay, well, I win this. Easy. Easy. Well, we got the Tomahawk Man chip. That was just normal to Tomahawk Man, wasn't it? That wasn't even EX or SP, was it? Okay, now we're fighting EX. Okay. Tomahawk, uh, we're getting Fire Hit 2 next turn. Let's go ahead and go... Yeah, we'll, we'll do this. Yeah, he's gonna be able to heal on grass tiles, but that's okay. Oh, I'm getting hit. Yes, you got armor. Yeah, I got hit. That's fine. Oh. Okay. Playing hook two. There we go. That's a hundred. That's a one thousand four hundred damage. We got the ex chip. Now for the sp. Now I gotta remember to not get hit. Let's see how this goes. All right, Tomahawk. And we just start with Fire Hit, uh, Flame Hook. All right, that works out fine. Flame Hook 2. Five times. And he does that. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and go this. I'm not. I'm not making the SP chip. That's for sure. Yeah, that's fine. I'll live with that. L, M, and N. Uh, well, okay. Yeah, that could have gone way better. We'll try... I'm gonna have to try that again. Let's try that again. This time, don't get hit. Okay. Tomahawk. Let's go ahead and set... Oh, man, I wish they the same one. All right. We're going to set up two corn shots. Try to get some grass tiles in here. One, 
to... There we go. Yeah, he got healed, but that's okay. I'll live. Set this up. out so well. Okay. Well, there it's there it is. Next turn. And I've already taken a couple hits. So if I hang out in the back row, will we always use that boomerang? That might be better. Because I could easily dodge- I could dodge that a lot easier. Uh-huh. Try arrow count. Uh, risky honey. I could go risky honey. Risky honey. Yeah, we'll try that. Alright. I'm gonna hang on the back row. Yes! Two. Oh, that's easier to manipulate. Okay. That is way easier to manipulate. There we go. He's in the right spot, too. Parashell. Oh, this is way easier to manipulate. Look at that. Done. Get out of here. Just in time, to Look at that. All right. Tomahawk Man's super easy. That was easy. <clears throat> All right, now we got Dustman. Then after Dustman, we'll, I guess we'll try going after Proto Man. And you know, if we go after Proto Man, I think I'll be able to set up double hero. Yeah, we could do double hero and I, no, wait, no, I don't have anti navy I was going to say we could do double leader, but no, we can't. <clears throat> so yeah, let's go ahead and get Dustman done. Then we'll go Proto Man, and then I got to work on the navvies on the net. And wait, just count? Count counts, right? Yeah, he does, so we'll have to go down there too. I don't... Oh, okay, wait a minute. We're gonna have to get Django, too. Django 3. Which we don't need to do one of the BBSs, but we need to, do need to do something else. Okay. Um... I guess I'll go Tomahawk. Um... Double Beast? Sure. We'll start with Double Beast, I guess. Actually, maybe Tengu might have been a better option. We'll find out. We'll see. Because he's going to be just be destroying my stuff. Alternate between attacks. So maybe I can still stick with Tomahawk? 
We'll try it. Tomahawk. We'll go ahead and start with the Mega Boomerang. We'll save attack plus 30 for a little later. Tomahawk Man seems to be my most used form. Granted, my folder is just kind of built around grass. I guess we'll just do this. We might have to try a different uh, fight. Yeah, I got hit there. That was a little bit faster. I guess I'll go Risky Honey and Roll. Invis. As well. Yeah, I'm not getting the, S uh, the SP chip, not this one. Uh, I, I guess I'm going with Double Beast. Hey, Juice, how's it going? Been a, been a little while. But yeah, we got a new logo, we got a new banner, and we got some panels. How's it going, Juice? Been a while. I was gone for a little more than a week. Now I'm back. Uh, first of all, you're Frogadier. Second of all, uh, it's because when you first jumped in, every ever since I had the stream a avatar, it randomly picks one for you and you just kind of stay there. If you go, I think you have to scroll down a bit. I don't know if you could do this on uh, mobile if you're on mobile right now, but there's a stream avatar tab and you will be able to swap to a different one. Is it work playing? Enjoying the sun and playing the hell of Pokemon Go. I see. But if you're on your phone, you... M I don't know if you're able to swap it. I, it. I don't know. I haven't tried. It's playing a fishing diamond, but you haven't gone around to it yet. Ah, uh, yeah. Aren't you, like, very close? Is it tied to your username for every, every streamer? It's basically tied to your account, more or less. But it can be swapped. You just need to access the little panel that you should be able to have access to. It's just, I don't, you might not be able to change it if you're on mobile, for all I know. Uh, let's go ahead and go. I guess we'll set, I can only choose one, really. So we'll go air spin. Uh, you just notice you always seem to over do. It's nice. Yeah, uh, you have the option to swap. It's just when you, uh, it just randomly picks one for you. just kind of stays there unless you change it. All right. We have roll. If attack plus 30, this will be enough. You've been playing at the arcades. Oh, you've been playing Street Fighter 3. Oh, very nice. Still need to play some Street Fighter. There we go. We're done with Dustman. Now to start going after... <clears throat> going after Proto Man. 
Yeah, while I was gone, I decided to work on, uh, you know, I, I had my Switch, so I was, I finished my playthrough of Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope because I started that earlier in the year. I just decided to finish it. And then I decided, after finishing that, to continue my playthrough of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Still in the middle of that playthrough, but, you know, that's a big game. Then, you know, I took the time to work on those backlogs. Seriously, playing on the Fire Emblem FA run on the play choice. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, you still, you should try that. And if you play it, if you are able to live stream your attempts, uh, that'd be cool. And even if you can't live stream, it would be a, a decent video idea, you know? I could see the YouTube video now. How many quarters does it take to beat F uh, Fire Emblem FE on the NES Play Choice? Be a big investment, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, okay. What am I asking about? his movement pattern. You know what? I'll let the ad play. I'll let the ad play. I'll take a second. Uh, actually, I'm gonna fill my water up. Be right back. Ad should be done now. Oops. It's not, this chair is not the most comfortable. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Who's you marry? <laughs> I mean, hey, you're talking about like the whole NES video. It could be narrated. Do you know how to edit? Because I, I have some editing experience somewhat. Uh, yeah, I was talking to a friend at work about Xenoblade stuff. I want to finish the game one day. I think I'll start a fresh game on the Switch version. Yeah, this, the Switch version is so good looking. I love how it looks. Uh, yeah, it, it's a good, it, it's a good version. Uh, Switch version is able to look so much nicer. Yeah. Uh, I'm still thinking enjoying RPGs. It's kind of started with the Tales series. How uh, you can change who you play as, right? And that's what the Xenoblade does too. It's like yeah, you know, you could choose who you want to play. Unlike, say, the Final Fantasies, where, especially the PS1 era of Final Fantasies, where you always have to have, like, the main protag in the team. The Wii version's nice, because I mean, like, three ones. So, I have a friend who has the, the Wii version. That's how I first experienced Xenoblade. Oh, I missed it. And then eventually I got myself a copy of the I got myself a copy of the 3S version when that came out. I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> the ad broke my flow. I blame the ad. Uh, 
I just gotta learn how Chrono Man works. Charge shot will do the trick. And am I gonna make it? I don't know. Or just make it Oh, that was bad. But yeah, I have the 3DS one. And that, and I actually beat the game through that. And then in a couple years ago I got the Switch version. And that that is just such a great version. Even if you download the wrong or went wrong because you don't have a new 3DS. Yeah, exactly. It was a new 3DS exclusive. And it's like the only one. Even the virtual console needs the new 3DS. Yeah, I don't understand why that was the case. I still don't understand why uh, that was actually the case. Alright, well. Yeah, I think it was the only new 3DS exclusive. Actually, I think Fire Emblem Warriors was also a 3DS exclusive. Uh, well, okay, I wouldn't call it exclusive, but you needed a new 3DS, I believe, to run that particular version. Because, uh, unless you're obviously playing the Switch version. But, like, that, that's the only other game I can think of. Ugh. I'm trying Drill Man. To basically dodge stuff. Although it would be better if I had Area Grab. Take that, Proto Man. Fire Warriors will affect something you want to play at one point, but the character selection was kind of lame at the time. Yeah, I could, I could agree to that. It was really just FE1, uh, FE1, Fates, and Awakening. And I could see why that would be kind of, kind of a bummer when that's your only choices, plus a couple one offs. Um, and there were some characters that were in the game for story reasons, like Navarre, but you couldn't play as some of those characters unless you bought the DLC. And I thought, I thought that was a little annoying, and I don't think it was a case of on-disc DLC, nor do I think it was a case of them holding it on. I don't think it's a case of them holding off the character until DLC on purpose. It might be one of those cases where they kind of ran out of time to make the character, maybe? I don't know. It's hard to tell sometimes. What am I doing? Um... I mean, it wasn't that useful. You know what? Let's go Aqua. Hold on. Let's go Aqua. I have a couple one-off characters I could win. Sell it up. Which is fine. But I do think it could have gotten like other DLC and it would have worked out perfectly fine. It's 
it just felt like Fire Emblem Warriors didn't get as much support as what the first Hyrule Warriors got. And it easily could have, you know? Because fi the original Hyrule Warriors back on Wii U got a lot of support. The D and the DLC that you got, that first batch, well, I'm just realizing I'm only fighting base Proto Man. How come I'm not fighting EX or SP? Uh, Uncle wasn't actually that bad. Soren was a cool idea, but not really interested in anyone else. So, I can see your mindset with the engaged DLC, but like as someone who's actually messed around with the DLC, uh, I do think when you actually get to utilize some of them, they are fun to mess around with. And I almost want to do another playthrough where I basically get these new uh, these new guys as soon as you're able to, and then play through the game with these new units. Because if you actually take the time to mess around with these uh, with the new engage bla bracelets. Uh, they, there could be some very cool strategies to to use. Obviously, the the tiki one is good for what was it? I think tiki had like a uh, you're more likely to get stat boosts upon level up, and the. Engage trio or not engage the three houses trio had a exp booster and you could get the engaged uh, the three houses trio like immediately like you don't need to do anything to get them I'm, I'm just now noticing that Proto Man's not upgrading, so I don't I don't know why I'm not getting the the SP or the EX. I need to do something. Oh, I messed that up. Is that strong? Local map, ice castle. No, uh, Tiki. It's not Paragon, but first of all, being able to turn into a dragon and anyone can do that is actually kind of cool, but. Uh, Tiki was able to, I think, had a passive ability where it, when you level up, you have a higher chance of getting stat bonuses. I think we have to hold off on Proto Man. I don't know why I'm not get, getting EX or SP. Maybe he's tied to this. Is he tied to the side quest? Huh. Um. Do I have lock enemy? I have like four. Okay. Let's go ahead and start. Let's start with Blast Man. We'll go in order. Uh, and here's the thing. You can start accessing the DLC characters, I think at like chapter six. Like it's that early. So... And you get the Three Houses Trio for free, basically. You don't have to do an actual map. And that right there gives you an EXP boost. Or they have a passive to give you an EXP boost. So then you do the Tiki mission to get that skill for the stat boost, and there you go. That's all you need right there for a while. Custom 1, Buster Pack. I th it's either I add in, like, Sneak Run. Nah, I think we'll be fine. We'll just run around and run away from stuff. I'm trying to remember what some of the others did, because it's been a while. Uh, I, I know the Three Houses trio, like, every turn, it will swap who whoever you're using. Whether you're using Edelgard, Dimitri, or uh, Claude, I believe? I, and depending on who is currently in use, they have a different skill to use. That was fast. 
extra. So 700 damage. Let's see if I can time this right. Okay. Almost done. <laughs> Sorry. We just ran into. Oh no, it was a 700 damage. He's not weak. What am I talking about? There we go. Done. <laughs> Easy. Easy. We got the SP chip. So. I technically only have the EX ver uh, version because of the folder. But. I don't need to fight him again, so... Where is it? Oh, that's heat, man. Oops. Too far, too far down. Sorry. Uh... Where is it? Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I don't have EX technically. I have it through... Was it here? It was one of these. It's not this folder, but it was a different one. So, but there's no, there's also no reason to have the EX version. Like, actually have it. Like, why would I use this when I have this? So, I think we'll just move on. Circus Man is close by, so we'll go after Circus Man. No, no reason to actually bother with the EX variant. We'll save kernel and account for later. But yeah, uh, I remember Edelgard's skill and Dimitri's being useful. I just, I'm just blanking on what they actually did. But I remember them being useful. Uh, Soren having the ability to just put a, uh, oh, what was it? It's, it's, it, it basically has a, you can make someone else the target of nearby enemies. Oh, provoke. That's what it was. Yeah, Soren has the provoke ability. So, like, that one is so cool to mess around with. Like, playing the entire game with that ability just sounds fun to use. And I combo it with, like, whoever ha Okay, we're fighting Circus Man now. Uh, I like to combo that with... Uh, Ike. Because when Ike is going to use uh, Blaze e Great Ether, because that one requires them to be surrounding Ike, the Ike user, and uh, he has a lot more defense, right, when he's setting that up. So you provoke him, so that way all the enemies that are close by to the Ike user will target the Ike user, and then you just put the Ike user in the middle of a bunch of enemies, and then just set up Great Ether. It's a fun combo. And I just think the Provoke one is very useful. stand behind Lucina and engage unit with her shield build. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, there's just a lot you could do. And there were some times where uh, I was having a unit uh, I had like a unit at low health or something and they just needed to survive. So I provoked a different unit. So that way the one that's weakened won't get attacked. So that way I saved the one that was weakened. Okay, we got the X. So now let's go ahead and lock enemy. Save. There we go. Now let's try to get the SP chip. No, like, Soren's provoke ability, like, is super fun to use. And I think you could get a lot of use out of that. 
So like, and that's not even like it's uh, because Soren has like a weird ability where if it's if Soren's paired up with magic users, depending on what spell book they use, there's like a new effect, and that can be fun to use. Oh wait, no, you know what? No, 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 no. We're going Tom. We're going Tom. Then I'll go to ground here in a second. There we go. Okay, now we'll go... Do I want that? Yes. No. up. Now I think I'll go ground. Then we'll go double beast. at that. See? Not that bad. It's you Gregar players that have trouble with him. No program advance was needed. See? You just need to be a Falzar player. You know? And just use Drill Man. See? Super easy. Like, you, you don't... Eh. Circus Man being tough? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you just need to be Drill Man. And even then, I was using Tomahawk Man for a little bit. As a Gregar player, how are you feeling right now? <laughs> Man, it sure sucks to be a Gregar player. I wouldn't want to be a Gregar player. Don't worry. There's probably going to be a different boss where being a Thousand player sucks. Hunted for dive, man, but I I got rid of this guy, because why not? Uh okay, I I need Tomahawk. Oh yeah, what what did you have to go with with when you fought Circus Man as a Gregar player? Oh, that was Okay, that was the sandworms, okay. Yeah, we'll just hang out down here. Because before you showed up, Juice, uh, Tyler showed up, and he was saying, uh, he was saying he had trouble with Circus Man as well. <laughs> so, was, two people are like, wow, Circus Man took me a long time, and I'm just like, second try. I was going all out with them, the Omega face fight. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Oh, the rare piranhas. Okay, I need this. I need to get rid of this. Actually, we'll go... This is all I need. Oh, yeah, uh... Let's see. What was I thinking, saying before? Fire room gauge. Uh, I'm trying to remember some of the other skills. It, Grant, it's been a while since I've played, so forgive me. But yeah, Soren has a skill where if he's paired up with a magic user, uh, depending on what the tome is, what element the tome is used, there's a new effect, and that could be fun to use. And while I did give Soren to a magic user, I forget who, uh, to actually utilize that, I ended up using utilizing Provoke a lot more, and it was a lot more fun to utilize Provoke. Uh, so there was also, I think, what was her, what's her name? Vanessa from Heroes? She has a fun ability to summon 
uh, just she has a summoning ability, kind of like the kind of like this is a uh, Fe8 with the summoner. And one time I got a a summon for Dimitri, so that was fun. So I thought like that would be fun to mess around with, but there is a tr there is a stupid uh, drawback to that one. Uh, you know how you're. Uh, when you uh, choose the form, you're only in the form for three turns. The summon also only lasts that long. And I think that's the dumb part, because you can only use it once per transformation, right? But yet, here you are. You transformed, but your summon can only last for three turns. Would you have to spend a turn to summon it anyway? So... Like... I feel like the summon, like, should just stay there, no matter what. And I think that would make it more fun. But, like, I was using it to, like, summon random goons. Just to, like, distract from an enemy, right? And that was fun. And then eventually I got a Dimitri. So, like, that could be fun. But the fact that it only lasts a few turns is, like, the worst aspect about it. If that wasn't a limitation, it would be a lot better. I'm trying to remember Hector's because I don't remember it being like that interesting. I just kind of forget if Hector's was good or not. Um, there was there was Crom and Robin. I forget what their ability was too. I know it was weird, and I didn't really utilize it. The Camilla one. I remember Camilla gives you a Dragon Vein user, and you can get that at Chapter 6 way sooner than you get Corrin. So, that gives you access to a Dragon Vein user a lot sooner, and that by itself is fun to use. But there was. I think there's something about. Uh, one, she's a flyer, so that's one thing to mess around with, but I think that she has, like, a skill that's. Tome base? I, I forget how it worked. Uh, okay, Dive Man. Uh, there was a. Oh, yeah, if I went Dust Man, I could punch him while he's still in the ground. Underwater. That's right. wasn't like four times oh I got too bad he wasn't four times I got hit by that there we go we got him okay well we Well, that was lucky. <laughs> that was lucky. <laughs> that was just luck. However, I might need to get the S rank anyway. On, uh, records. Right? Don't I need S rank? No? Do they care? Does this game care about S ranks? Because I still have the time. They still give you the record time even if you don't get S rank. That was just a lucky draw. Because, like, when you're at a rank 10, I think it's a 1 out of 4 chance to get the SP chip. So I think I just lucked out. This is going to be an ad soon, so... Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm... Yeah, we already have the EX chip because of the folder, so I don't need that. 
All that matters is getting the chip, right? I don't need to S rank. The records are not keeping track of my rank. See? Like, there's nothing saying about rank. All it cares about is time. So I don't think we need to do this. All right. Let's go after Judge Man. Let's go after Judge Man. He's in green area two. I think he's in green area two. So we'll hang out around there. I, I feel like a lot of this is just dumb luck, but like, granted, like, I. Uh, I remember these being like super difficult for me when I was a kid, but I am not a kid anymore. <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> these are a lot easier now when you know what you're doing. Okay, where's Judge Man? I remember <sighs> Judge Man is also not that difficult. He could get stun locked very easily with the. Because he moves twice, I think. I think he moves twice, and then he does, like, the electric... Not spear, but... Whip. Alright, an ad is playing. But because I'm just looking for Judge Man, I'll keep running around. Okay, green mystery data. wait, but since we're just trying to find Judgment, I'll uh, just keep running around until I find him. There's no reason for me to just wait for the ad to end. Got another 30 seconds. Second, four, three, two, one. That should be done. Uh, I ran into this rare virus, but I'm pretty sure I already have it, so we didn't really miss anything. Iron Shell 2C. That. Do I have that one? No. I did not have that one. Okay, so that's a new chip. I'll keep that. Oh yeah, um... Virus Battler? I think I have to do that soon, because don't I have to do Virus Battler to get Django 3? So I will have to do that. Anti-Sword A, we need an Anti-Sword Star, which I think I already have anyway, so we need Anti-Napping and Anti-Damage. I'm not sure where they are. But yeah, uh, Juice, are you even able to do the whole Fire Emblem NES on the NES max thing. I, I forget what it's called. Are you actually able to do that? I know you were saying that it requires you to get an actual cartridge, right? And then, like, the arcade owner can swap it out, right? Ooh, three bug frags. I need those. Because those NES cabinets... They, they just have, like, basically six NES slots within the 
within the cabinet itself that people can swap out, right? That's how it works, right? with several games on it, and these were big in the late 80s. I remember seeing a couple of NES advantages, but on the inside, they just have cartridge slots. Slot. And it's not to change out two games like the current, for like current NES games. Oh, I see. So, are there just two games in it, or is it like the actual arcade machine itself has already has some built-in NES games, but then there's two NES slots for someone to swap swap out games. Right, yeah. The the question is, if you were to attempt something like that, uh you need to get yourself an actual cartridge for FE FE1. So, would you just get a Japanese Famicom cartridge, or would you get a, like, a repo card with the English translation? That way you can see what you're doing, or do you, do you even need that? Actual machine has open games, and then there was a way to add more. Right. Play a Japanese version, we need practice. At least with Fire Emblem, because for your your idea, you're just play through the game as fast as possible, and you don't need to know the story. It's not like you need to really talk. To the biggest issue, and it wasn't hard when you play Japanese only for Thracia. Right. Uh, I I would think the biggest issue you probably have is when you're trying to buy weapons. Right? That'd probably be the biggest thing you would have to figure out. Granted, you could probably get a repro card for FE1 and play that way and not have that issue, but it's up to you, I guess. But I guess, the again, the question would be, since it would be on a cartridge, you could keep whatever save you want, so... It's not like you would have to worry about someone erasing your save file more or less. Because the arcade owner could just give it back to you. Like at the uh, when you're done with your session. I am in the right area for I'm in the right area for judgment, right? It's area two? Uh, let me look for boss locations. Those glitches. Uh. Uh. Oh, shit. Did I just look at that? Shift locations? Hold on. Judge man, here we go. It just says Green Town. Oh, what if I do this? Yeah, that's story. Area two. Yeah. I'm just unlucky right now. Okay. Granted, one thing, uh, to point out is I think getting an actual Japanese cartridge of FE1 is cheaper than getting a repo card so that I guess that's something to consider uh of course okay um let's go ahead and use porn shot I guess One, 
two. Books, one, two. Risky honeys. Yeah, Judge Man is super easy. Uh, okay, I guess we'll go. Do I want double beast? That would, yeah. I'll Thought someone would mess with it on the day you're not there. Yeah, but. I guess it depends on how often you go, but. Think about it like this. If you make progress and someone just happens to play it, and your file is deleted for whatever reason, that just messes everything up, you know? Now hold on. Hold on a minute. How come I got the S rank? By all rules of Battle Network, as soon as I made it past 30 seconds, I should not have gotten the SP chip. I would have got dropped down to rank 10. Why did I get an S rank? I'm, uh, explain to me, how did I get an S rank here? By all rules of Battle Network. I should have been ranked 10. I mean, there would still been a chance for me to get the, uh, the SP chip. It would have been like a 1 in 4, kind of like with Dive Man. But... Past 30 seconds, you know? Alright, well... I need the EX. That's easy to man manipulate. 1, 2... 1, 2... 1, 2... Books. 1, 2... Judge Man is super easy. Uh, I guess we'll go corn shot, sure. One, two. One, two, books. One, two. One, two. I gotta get hit. Probably twice, right? I probably need to get hit twice. Just to play it safe. Oh, this book! One, two. There we go. That should be enough. Easy. Easy. There's the EX. That's done. All right, so I need to figure out how to get Proto Man later. What's next? We gotta go after Element Man. And then I need Element Man, Colonel, and the Count. Let me sub right here. Or lock in these. I need to buy one more lock enemy. Wait, I, uh, uh Juice, uh, if you were to attempt that, would you do it live, or would you just post-record? Just record yourself and then, like, edit a video later. Like, I don't know how you should handle something like that, but I, either way, I can see the video now. You know what I mean? I can see the thumbnail. No matter which one you- no matter which way you handle it, I can see the title. I can see the clickbait, ti clickbait title right now, but it's not clickbait. Do it live. I think, like, you could do both. Realistically, you could do it both ways. It's just, I don't know which way would be best. And a second later, save for VODs. I mean, yeah, I guess you could do that. That's what I'm trying to do with the iron weapons only thing. I'm just very slow at it. <laughs> The thing about tr trying something like that live, especially since you're on a cl you're on the clock, you know, you have to try to be entertaining, right? Because you're live, but you're on the clock, so you gotta try to 
do as much as he can. You know what I mean? But, if you do it live, then people might be able to, like, donate to you live during the thing. Whereas with the edited version, you can take as much time as you need it, and you don't need to be... You don't have to actually be, I don't know, entertaining during the thing. You could spend more time focusing, and you could do a voiceover later. But saves, that's on Twitch forever. You can download it. Whatever. Exactly, exactly. Well, even if it was on YouTube, or even if you record... Like, I don't think that matters, because even if you were to do it, like... Like, if you weren't to do it live, you're recording yourself anyway. And you just put your recording on your computer and save it for later. So, like, I don't think that's much of an issue, and you just edit as you go, or you wait till you're done. But I do think you would definitely need to practice if you were to do something like that, and just kind of have a rough idea of what you need to do and what you're doing. I don't know if you need to do speedrun strats. Unless you really want to save money. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think it would be a fun video idea, that's for sure. There's Element Man. Okay, uh, what's the plan? He's going to Woods form very quickly. I don't really have a good way to deal with him. Uh, I could wait for... Now we'll, now we'll just do this. I missed that one. Okay, now he goes for the egg. Okay. That's the best plan. I guess we'll use this. That should be an EX. There it is. Alright. Lock enemy. Now we need the SP chip. So don't get hit. That's gonna be difficult. to get it. And if it's a good reward, I'm keeping it. But yeah, either way you handle it, you can easily make a video of it later if it's live stream. But yeah. Process of getting the phone holder so you can... Oh yeah, I get like a... Not a GoPro, but yeah, I know, like a... Like a tripod or something. Yeah, you can easily do that. Although, oh yeah, if you're live streaming, then it doesn't really matter how much the phone can save because you're, yeah, okay. yeah. If you're using your phone, you probably won't be able to save the video on your phone directly. So you probably have to live stream if you're going that route. Because your phone probably won't be able to save a video that large. Okay, how do I want to handle this? I have a feeling I won't be able to do this round. Um... Let's start with Tengu, actually. Use this up. Oh, come on! Yeah, he likes to hand me back, doesn't he? I have a feeling I have to reset this one. Um... Yeah, I can't really 
I got hit. You know what? That's a reset. That's a reset. Yeah, uh... I've been trying to, like, work on the whole Iron Weapons Only video here and there. Whenever I feel productive. I am currently, like, writing, like, the section for... Uh for the the phantom ship i don't know if you remember what went down at the phantom ship but that one took forever <laughs> i'm in the middle of that script writing for that section right now ah i can stop them from I can stop them from transforming Man, SP. All right, now for Colonel and Count, and yeah, Colonel and the Count. So, the thing about Element Man that I noticed, if you stun him before he would swap forms, you can keep him in whatever form he's currently at. So that's a way to keep him in an element you want to want him to stay at and just utilize that weakness okay we gotta get to the underground we need to get to underground two which luckily it's right next to not graveyard immortal area i think it's what it was called But yeah, um, how I have been writing my stuff is more of like, I just kind of watch the footage for one of the chapters, then I kind of write down what happens in that chapter. And then I, I might do that for a few chapters, and then I do the recording for those chapters. I don't do it all in one big go. Maybe that's a problem, but I'm just not the best at writing, so that's just the best I, how I can handle it. And maybe once I'm got the main script out of the way and get through the entire game, right? I might do another audio recording and just kind of copy-paste what I say, but it, it'll fl flow better. I'm not sure. I'll get there when I get there. But yeah. I'm pretty sure I killed that thing. Um, but what I can do is pretend to... But I haven't really done, like, editing any of the editing stuff because, you know, save that for once I have, have all the audio. Hey, there's Colonel! And we already have Flamehook. But I want to try to get Grass Tiles, if possible. Oh! I see. One, two... I guess we're using this. Oh, that's a fire element. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm trapped. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll go ground. 
Um, too bad I can't use attack plus flurry. Oh, I forgot that whole cape move. Yeah, it's a good thing I don't know. to YouTube so the crashes and run wonders. To just clip out six minutes. Ooh. Yeah, that would probably pro that would probably be a problem. Oh, I it. Okay, we got the EX. Full energy, luckily I had some. Lock enemy. Alright, time to S rank. Time to S rank. Working on getting a new PC soon. Alright, well, that will help. Okay. Time to not get hit. What is my best route? We'll use the sun. I was expecting him to do the missile thing. All right, try that again. Well, if you're getting a new PC soon, then you will be able to handle all that video idea. That's for sure. Okay. I think it. Mm. You know what? We're gonna start with Tengu. Because I can use up these air spinners. It's risky. I get to use that up. Okay, now we'll go Tomahawk. Then. I think I'll save the attack plus 30 for a little later. That was on me. But yeah, getting a new PC will definitely help with that, that's for sure. Uh, uh, I had something in my head. Now I forgot. Yeah, I forgot you have to use the key every time. Blinking, I don't know. Alright. Um, Tomahawk. We could go Risky Honey, Super Vulcan. Ah, oh, dang it. I was a little too slow. 
Looks like an ad's gonna start soon-ish. We'll see how far I can go. Oh, yeah. Uh, one thing I was gonna mention is, uh, uh, so I already have the, you see I already have the, the new panels, the new logo and all that. Uh, well, the plan is, like, as soon as I'm able to like, stop at the thing, whenever I get that chance, I will be able to get emotes started. So I might have some emotes soon. So that's progress, right? Try this again. Let's go ahead and use Guardian. Okay, I messed up. I'll wait for the ad to. I'll wait for the ad. seconds left. Let's see. Alright, well, you know what? I'm gonna look up something about Proto Man. So I don't know why I'm not fighting. I don't know why he's not going to EX. I was trying to look up Proto Man, and it seems like he skips the EX version, but I'm not sure how to get SP. I guess I'll figure that out later. Uh, do what I did in Grip Sprites from Obscure Famicom. Oh, is that Kid Dracula? Yeah. No, uh, I, I'm, I'm getting uh, emotes based on the robot that you see on the logo and panels. Again, I just need to stop at the bank, and then once I do, I can get that started. So it won't be too long. Okay, powering this up would be better. Like, I, I am planning, if everything goes well, to get six. But, like, again, I just need to stop at the place before I can do that. But we're looking at getting emotes soon. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the boomerang going. Alright, fine. Whatever. I got the grass tiles. Double Beast? 
would probably deal more damage. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna hope to get like six new emotes to actually have, because I still don't have any. Still have no emotes. Ooh, Bowser. There's a chance we could get the SP. Um, we'll try it. Ah, uh, if that, I probably failed right there. Yeah, I failed on time mostly. Okay, that was more of a time issue. And I, I only got hit once, so it was really just time. Alright, try that again. Alright, well... Wait. Yeah, I better try for that. It's gonna be a very loose combo, but... If we can get this, it'll be 700 damage if we get it to work. There we go. Okay. Then we'll go Risky Honey Roll. I was expecting that move. Oh, uh, that, that's a fan. It's like, I have Colonel more or less down. It's just, I keep messing, I keep messing when uh, he's using the missile move. That's the problem. I keep expecting that when it doesn't happen. see a problem immediately right there. Hey, Monzai, how's it going? Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, if I'm correct, you went to Japan, right? That was a while ago. How'd that go? Back in the States, right, yeah. Uh, and I think you, like, completely missed me play through Battle Network 5, if I'm correct. It's been that long. I'm trying to get... Yeah. Good. Yeah, playing Battle Network 6, getting the Mega Chips from the Navi so we could get into Graveyard. I was working on the new, uh... I was working on the new side quest from the, basically the E-Reader stuff. But, uh, the one I got to requires me to get Poison Pharaoh, and I don't have that. Oh, I timed that right! That was... That was a risky shot. Alright. One second. Yes! There we go. Thir <laughs> Gotta get the S rank. I was too slow. Too slow. Alright. Uh, you've been... You were streaming Battle Network 3 and you finished 100%. Very nice! Uh... So, uh, when I 100% Battle Network 3, 
I managed to get all the Navi, Navi customizer parts except for the ones I had to trade from White. But those are like the only ones I wasn't able to do. Other than that, I did 100% everything else. Did you manage to get the other Navi customizer parts as well? for me to use up the pounds. Oh, I got hit. No, I ain't gonna work. But yeah, how was your trip in Japan, Monzai? How was the how was the trip? I know you were like interning for like computer stuff, uh, like web programming or something. You didn't go for Navicars and all the reg ups. Mainly went for all the chips, if your memories and stars. I see. Yeah, I went for reg. I went for reg ups because when I was getting HP memories, the list was just there. I figured let's just find them all. Uh... Uh... But I did get all Navi customizers stuff except for the ones that were from the other version. That was like the only thing I didn't grab, but I got all the I got all of them, including bugs, uh, the bug one. It's a lot of grinding, that's for sure. Oh, you actually? I was gonna ask that. You actually uh, got the checklist going. Is it, is it a web browser thing? Browser right now, it only keeps track of blue mystery data and purple mystery data. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add board parts and nebula key. Yeah, uh, do you, uh, I kind of want to see. Can you, uh, do you mind posting it? Posting a link? I kind of want to see it. And you know, like, when I was playing through Battle Number 5, I'm like, wow, I wish I really had a checklist for this game too. <laughs> Because Battle Network 5, like, when you get to Nebula area, it really likes to roadblock you. But I'm just like, wow, I wish I had Navi Customizer, or, or had a checklist for Battle Network 5 as well. And there were some uh, spots in here where, especially on the sections where you can play as Mega Man, that would have, I would like to glance at. Be like, oh, I didn't get this one in this area because I didn't have Mega Man. Let's go off. Let's go off. server is still up. Was warned it would go down if you didn't upgrade. You didn't yet because you want to get a bunch of stuff out of it. I see. Well, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You mind if I you mind if I take a look if you don't mind posting? Yeah, get that going. I 
have to log in every time I refresh, huh? Okay. Alright. Program advance. Let's see if this is fast enough. Come on, Colonel. Look at that. Ah, I see. Because mm -hmm. we were talking about this a long time ago, like months. Actually, you know what? Before I... I want to test something out. There's something I want to test out. I just thought about it. Yeah, you can get rid of Aura that way! It's like a north wind. Oh, that's so useful. Wait, does that mean that if someone tried to use Life Aura against a Falzar player, they could just go Tengu? And then just get rid of Life Aura with, north, with basically north wind? That would be annoying. And I don't think Gregor has a way to use North Wind. Okay, let's see. Tomahawk? Alright. Let me take a look, at least on my laptop for just a second. Okay, I, it looks like I have to register. So give me a minute. And then, like, I'll probably put it on screen here in a minute. Let me take that. And you say I have to log in every time. Okay, so I see normal, hard, super hard. I mean, it takes a second for the for everything to swap around. So let me click on that. Okay. If I refresh, I gotta log in again. Let me do that very quick. I I just kind of want to see how it looks, and I'll put it on. And it's still there. Okay. Okay, that's something. That's something. Here, let me, uh... Here, let me go ahead and... We're gonna take a second. Put it on... Put it on the stream itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this... Oh, wait, hold on. Is it taking a second? Yes. So let me go ahead... takes a second and on here let me go ahead and where's there it is let me go ahead and find the page I want yeah give me a minute <laughs> There we go. So yeah, there's the tracker. Seeing it. So as you can kind of see, I already messed around with this. Click on that. Give it a minute and see it's marked off. I could do that. And then if you go ahead and click hard, in super hard mode. Yeah, that's something. I mean, this is nice to have. Lacker, this is the main one right here, like these dungeon ones.
you have to make them in a week. Wow. Yeah, these dungeons and ones are really more useful to have. Fuck enemy bug fragments. Holy panel. Unlock a free unlocker. Bug fragments. Let me look at. Uh, yeah, like, Wind Rack is right here. HP Memory Bug Fix. Vulcan 3, W. Bug Bombs. See, this right here, HP Memory. That's useful to have in the 4. Although, granted, this is super hard. So that wouldn't really matter. But, like, this right here, that's super useful. And I see that, uh... Black Earth isn't here because you can't get there yet. So yeah, that that seems fine. But yeah, this was the main thing that would be very useful to have. This right here. Really the blue and purple mystery data. But like, having a checklist for like even the shops. For like HP memories from there. And where reg ups are. That would also be nice to have a checklist for. But yeah, uh, like, this right here is basically the bare minimum that what you would need for about, for a BN4 run. There we go. Yeah, that's like bare minimum, and that would be super nice to have. This right there, the blue and purple mystery data. Alright, what was I doing? Uh, one shot... And the shops wouldn't be too hard. No, it wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, that would not be that hard. Not, I wouldn't think so anyway. You could put the list either at the beginning or at like... Oh, My bad. You could either put the shops at the beginning or after everything and just have a... Or you have a... Maybe when you have when you hover over like ACDC area two or something. Here, let me. Hold on. Give me a minute. Cause there's a shop in ACDC area two. So if I do, so it's, it's just still up. Is it still up? Yeah, there it is. So what you could do is like, you have this ACDC area two right here. But you probably wouldn't want the shop in the same area because that might interfere with these. Because the shop doesn't change per rank, per uh, difficulty. So what you could do is you could add ACDC area to shop as like something in between here, and that basically keeps the same thing throughout all difficulties. But you could you can have the like the three or four HP memories right there. Minimum viable project, exactly. Yeah. Next to the difficulties, like a shop's one. Oh, that could work too. That could work. Because it really doesn't matter on the difficulties. So yeah, that wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Because then uh, the only other thing I would want to keep track of is... Well, I guess there's, like, Navicust and Reg Ups that I would want to know where they are. Right? So... But yeah, the shops are kind of something to keep track of. I don't know. But yeah, you could definitely add to it. But yeah, the blue and purple mystery data was the bare minimum of what we needed. Go ahead and get this one. I got it. Filter for mainnet sub areas and comps. Yeah, that would actually be a good idea too. Like, it would be below, like, above or below the difficulties or something. Make it look nicer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Obviously, uh, the minimum thing you needed to do was what you just did.
but at least you can keep an account even if you have to log in every time uh, you can easily keep track so if I if and if I were to play Battle Network 4 even whether on my own time or not I'd probably use that because during my playthrough of Battle Network 4 I was doing just I was doing runs of like other dungeons be like okay let's double triple check whether or not I got the blue mystery data or not, and I, like, 90% of the time I already did. So it was really just kind of a waste of time, but I wouldn't have known unless I double-checked. Finally, got the SP. That's done. Working on a silly little other Bow Network related thing. Not as useful, but a good way to practice. What's this other project you're working on? Alright, now to find the count. rank will be better than the green mystery data, because I think I need that dragon. Too bad I don't have collect. Collect dragon, that might be new. And if not, oh well. Got some zenny. Okay. And I'm hoping to get a air spin from here. We have these, so I don't need to fight you. Yeah, I might, I might get that page bookmarked because I could definitely see myself using that checklist. I could definitely see myself using it. Get the weather. Shows a bunch of viruses to the weather. Choose a battle network background. Plays battle network music. Sounds weathery. Uh, okay, so it's like a uh, almost like a screensaver sort of thing. Just like a, a screensaver you can modify. I don't know. But just for fun, right? Attempt. Okay. I see. I see. Really just an excuse to mess around with technology more than anything. Yeah. 
But yeah, if you ever finish the Battle Network 4 one, I do think something like that would be useful for every Battle Network game. It looks like an ad's about to start soon. Once the ad starts up, I'm gonna take a second to uh, step away for a minute. If I need the chip, but I could definitely use the industry data. The plan is to make one for every game. Yeah, I definitely felt like I needed one for Battle Network uh, Five. An ad has started. I'm gonna step away for a minute and refill water and take care of a few things. Be right back. Go. Let me go ahead and swap back over. All right, time to find the count. Aren't you planning to make one for every game? Though it take a long time. It's pure data. What do you mean by pure data entry? Just. Yeah, it is very hot today. Uh, I think it's like 95 right now. Actually, I'm curious. What is it right now? Yep, 95. 95, 96. Ooh.
Soul Thunder 3. I don't know if that's new or not. No, it's not. It's been a while. It's been a little bit more than a week, so I kind of forgot about some of the stuff. I don't... I don't need any of these. So yeah, we gotta take care of the Count. We gotta go... I think the Virus Buster, and then we gotta figure out what we need to do with Photo Man. I'm not 100% sure. I just find it so weird that Mega Chips are now only the Navi Chips. I'm not used to that. For five games, like, other stuff was Mega Chips. And now it's like, nope, it's just Navis. Anything else that used to be a Mega Chip is now a standard one. Framework for rendering all the stuff is there. Obviously, you need a way to turn the games. Okay, giant. Realistically, the mystery data of every game. Just have all the... Just all the blue and purple mystery data in 4 is 715 lines of code. I'm assuming that's... I'm assuming that's a lot of lines of code. Like, is there a way you could, like, compress that or something? Probably not, right? And, you know, if you were to add, say, a Navi Customizer tab, uh, like, onto the list, right? Well, some of the blue mystery data is Navi Customizer. So, you would have to be able to link it to where, if you click on one of them, it affects both. As well as with the shops. Oh, right. If you make a shops or a, like an HP memory tab, since some of them are tied together, once you click on one, you affect both. I know. Yeah, I think that was another thing. Like, it wouldn't be that bad of a thing to have, like, a, a shop tab. A HP memory tab, a reg up tab, and a Navi customizer tag or tab. Because I can't think of anything else you would actually want to keep track of, at least in Battle Network 4. Unless you really wanted to go like all chip codes, right? <laughs> that would be like the only other thing, and then. But, you know, like. It's like the only thing I can think of. Come on, where is he? I have the EX chip. He's around here somewhere. He just doesn't want to fight me. Again, these sword guys make me think of the enemies in... Uh, Star Force. Like, there are sword guys that look exactly the same. Or maybe slightly different from each other, but still, like, I find it strange that they just seemed one to one copied. somewhere. Man, how come like, the count is the one that just doesn't want to fight me? His ghost is here somewhere. Oh, I should be fighting the corn. I could get a different code. Yeah, I should be fighting them. I wasn't thinking.
But yeah, so Monza, you just kind of said that you just finished Battle Network 3, 100%. Are you going to be starting Battle Network 4 soon, or do you want to get the checklist, like, a little bit better before you start? <laughs> because the funny thing, the thing is, you can just straight up use your checklist during your playthrough. I guess I'll come after home. I just have the names. I have what kind of data is blue mystery data, purple mystery data. I wanted to like, you add another bit of data to it. Find what kind of item it is, but again, you have to go in and manually check and add it. Okay. Be hard, but tedious. You you might be able to use a little bit of AI, maybe. Like, uh, I've seen a YouTuber like make some like little like brief like like little short games right and made a video on it like flappy bird but with like windows or whatever right and i've seen him like show like getting chat gpt to get code for him so it's possible it's just um, it just depends on your stance on you know the ai stuff you know what i mean Yeah, exactly. But yeah, you make the if you make it, it's definitely a uh, you can definitely show it to people. Be like, hey, I made this web thing, this web checklist site. That's something. Ooh, five bug fragments. So you're gonna spend time focusing on the on the checklist before going to file number four. I think I look better to speed up the server, yeah. And then once you if you like if you were to like stream your process of making that, right? And you make it as good as it looks or look, make it finalized. Then you could do your Battle Network 4 playthrough and actually use the checklist as you play. You know, cross promotion. Oh, you, you're gonna try to go into the mobile game stuff? Stream making the checklist? Yeah, I see people like would, uh, people would do like dev streams and like stream whatever project they work on. Yeah, that's something you can do. And while you do that, you could basically give Battle Network a break if you wanted to. You just play something else until you're done with the checklist. I don't know. It is what it is, you know. I have I feel like I have similar uh, viewer count, uh, low view counts too. It's just I don't know. <laughs> The other thing, uh, oh wait, is that a new fire hit? Is that a new fire hit? That might be. Hold on. This changes my folder now. Where is it? Uh, A, B, and C. Yeah, that's, that's it. So now we got a different problem. I can't throw these two in the tag system. Because these now add up to over 60. So the question is, what should I have be my shortcuts now? Hmm. Oh, that's a good question. Hmm. There's almost nothing I really want on the shortcuts. I can throw in this. That's kind of an okay one to have on the shortcut. Uh, but yeah, one thing you could try, Monzai. I'm assuming when you were streaming Battle Network 3, you put the stream in the Battle Network 3 tab, right? For the category. You could try throwing in the retro category. I'm not saying it would improve the amount of people that show up, but you get a slightly different audience. 
I guess I could throw iron shells in, but it's kind of not my strategy. You know what? I'm going to throw risky honey twos. Just wish I had another R. Yeah, we'll try that. Yeah, it's, it could be a little bit dis uh, discerning when you do a stream and you have, like, no people show up. I know, I get it. I feel that way sometimes. Like, oh, no one really showed up. And, uh, it's just like, okay. But then you get days like today, I don't know. It does make you wonder if you're doing something wrong, you know? But yeah, the only thing I could really suggest is try try streaming in the retro category instead sometimes. Granted, when I was I did like the first two streams of this in retro. I then swapped it to Battle Network 6. And not seeing I didn't really see a difference in number, but you do get slightly different people that do show up. Yeah, I know, like, but that's, the thing is, though, it doesn't matter how entertaining you are if people don't show up in the first, don't even click on the stream to show up in the first place, you know what I mean? You need people to just show up in the first place and even watch for, like, two seconds, you know? If they see that thumbnail and decide not to click on, then it doesn't matter how entertaining you are, right? But like, in my case, changing my uh, overlay would help with that, right? But after a certain point, it's just what you can do. Then you just need to try to find, play, I don't know. After a certain point, you might just have to try a, a more popular series, like if you're playing games, right? I play a lot of video games, right? So I would have to try maybe a popular game just to get uh, the people to sh point. Sorry, I'm kind of... Stream a popular game like, say, Elden Ring, where it's popular enough that people are looking for it, and then... You hope for the people that to show up to stick around for even if you decide to play the game. I don't know. Here we go. Here's count. Here's the count. Little King Story. I'm guessing that's an indie game, isn't it? Ch oh, Chulip. I still need to play that one. That's a game I want to play. But it's pretty spendy right now on a PS2 game. Yeah, I forgot. Okay. We're gonna go with bees. Yeah, so if you were to play a game like that, I would definitely say you might be better off. Wait, what, what console is it for? If you were playing Shoe Lip, I would probably say Retro, because let's be honest here, I don't think that many people are looking for a playthrough of Shoe Lip, if that makes sense. Whereas some, whereas if you go in Retro, people will be, like, scrolling by and may just find you play Shoe Lip and be like, oh, I didn't even think about that, let's just click on the screen, you know. It's kind of hard to tell whether or not you should try uh, Retro or whatever the base games tab is, I don't know. Say the same thing. Be used to streaming to low numbers to grand After, yeah, it's probably just, you just gotta keep going, I guess. I don't know.
Yeah, I would like to stream Tulip at some point because that's a game I wanted to. I have. I remember I when I was when I was in my Game Grumps phase. I saw them play Tulip for a little bit, and obviously they didn't finish it because you know it's Game Grumps. And I got interested, but now it's like I still want to play it. I, I still want to play Tulip, and I feel like that's a good stream game. But that's one of those games where it's like people are not gonna. Most likely, people are not going to be looking for a stream of Chulip. Not many people probably even know who, what Chulip is. So that's one of those ones where you have to get probably get lucky on the retro tab. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, like, even if I'm... Even if no one shows up. One, I still have the VODs to go back on. And I guess there is also another factor to consider. Uh, like, how good are you at uh, basically cross-promoting? Like, are you posting on Twitter? Are you making YouTube videos? Because I have a problem with that. <laughs> I'm not really good at the whole social media aspect. is one thing. No numbers is another. It's very sad to just talk to no one for hours. Yeah, I yeah, I get it. Getting to your stuff off screen. Explaining the cool stuff. Laughing at the dialogue. Went out of the way to PvP someone for a few hours just to get Delta, way, Delta Rain 3. Hey, I know I, I did exactly the same thing. Monzai. Exactly the same. Uh, honestly, I think part of the problem is, uh, we, om we almost did these too late. When I was playing Battle Network 2 and 3, it was shortly after the Legacy Collections first came out, right? But when I was playing through 4, 5, and 6, it was way after the fact. And I've noticed a, I think I've noticed a bigger difference between the people looking into Battle Network around the time Legacy Collection came out versus now. And part of it was, I think part of it is just like the hype for Battle Network uh, kind of di had died down already. You know what I mean? But then like, before I went to this, I was playing Thousand Year Door Remake. And I, there was a big difference in my view count and the people that showed up when you compare my Thousand Year Door versus Battle Network stuff, there is a big difference. So I think part of it is also just general interest. Like, we missed the window. I mean, Juice, when you were playing through all Battle Network stuff, I think you marathoned them, right? You were playing through them basically around the time Legacy Collection was out. Like, you marathon, you marathoned. I, like, I gave, I took breaks. You marathoned it. Uh, how well do you think you, uh, how well did you do when you were going through Battle Network stuff? If I may ask, slash if you remember. Yeah, I'm just someone that likes to take the breaks to avoid burnout, and that comes with a drawback. lower numbers like when you say it was lower numbers do you mean in comparison to your fire emblem stuff yeah see there it is uh that's also part of it uh if remind me juice before the battle network stuff you basically just stream fire emblem correct maybe a different game here and there like shimigami tensei but in general you were just fire emblem right That is true, I mean, different game here and there, right, but mostly Fire Emblem. You constantly go back to Fire Emblem. Not many waifus in Battle Network? I mean, you can name 
You can name off the amount of female navvies on one hand. Roll, Medi, and Ring. And Ring may or may not be canon. Do you count Iris? Because that's four. <laughs> Mega Man just doesn't have that many female characters to begin with anyway. That's just a Mega Man problem in general, though. At least Classic and X. I can't really think of Zero and Star Force at the moment. But yeah, uh, Juice. Like, not just Battle Network, but is there a difference in view count when you compare Fire Emblem to any other game you stream? We might have to go... Not, we might have to go with something other than Tomahawk. Maybe go ground. Because I, part of it is, depending on what type of streamer you are... Okay. Very unique game stream, and even if you aren't familiar with one of the series, it's, they are all kind of the same, right? But yeah, it also depends on how, basically how you market yourself, too. Like, I, from the start... I wanted to make sure I want I did not want to be known as a Fire Emblem streamer. Because I didn't want to be caught in the trap of uh, like if people expect me to be a fire fire emblem only, and then if I decide to play something else, people probably won't show up. I mean that's still the case, but I wanted to make it clear that I just play a variety of stuff. Because there is that trap. Of the people that uh, show up, or the people that are only the people that like one particular franchise. That still happens. That still definitely happens, but I wanted to make it clear I like to play a variety of stuff. The series is pretty popular. That is true. I would, sadly, I would say Fire Emblem is more popular than Mega Man. So I think that's also a part of it. If it's a blind people, people are interested in how you tackle a chapter. Yeah. Who you miss a recruit, if Iron Man, who's currently dead. Yeah, that is also a factor. Are you doing challenge right? Miss Mari, Lance Mom. Yeah, but I specified Navi's. Monza, I specified Navi's. I wasn't talking about the human characters. Unless there's something from, like, Phantom of the Network, I think it's still the case that there's only, like, three or four navvies that are female. And one of them was a gender bent. As long as I get that. Maybe not Battle Network, but the original X would be more popular than, say, Pyron. That is true. That is true. Classic Mega Man and X, I think, are probably more popular. It's hard to say, though, because I haven't attempted doing something with those. I guess that's going to start soon. I actually cannot play for much longer. I got something going on here a little bit, but I want to try to give Count a few more attempts. But I probably only have, like, I don't know, 15, 15 more minutes. That is true. If you're playing X or Classic, you're probably doing some sort of challenge run. Or like, like Buster only. Or uh, Speed Run. I bet a class, like a casual playthrough of uh, X or Classic probably won't hit it as good as versus a challenge run. Do you want to stream Ghost Trick? Basic turning the cycle I, I told this to Juice before. 
I feel like a, a visual novel of eight, like with Ace Attorney would be very hard to stream. You know what I mean? I know Juice and I had this conversation before. Uh, I feel like it's hard to stream a visual novel, especially if you have played the game before. You know what I mean? Like, I've played through the, the first trilogy for Ace Attorney. I can't think of something I could do with Ace Attorney, like, if I wanted to stream it. Because it's not a first playthrough. So I already know what's happening. I'll wait for the ad. I'll wait for the ad to finish up. <laughs> Gonna throw some bombs. I don't know, just having a little fun there. It's probably better if I move it around, but I'm just killing some time. Got about 20 seconds. Alright. Uh, 10 seconds, let me swap it back. Let me go see if I can find count. Seems like the ads are done. Yeah, uh, partner would be extremely very necessary. I feel like if you were to stream an Ace Attorney game or just any visual novel, and especially if it's not a first playthrough, I think you need to go ham on like the voice acting. Does that make sense? Like you really need to go. Like, if it's not a first playthrough, I think you really need to go, uh, like, really go big on the voice acting aspect of it. Does that make sense? Good with voices, right. Because I, I can't think of anything else you could attempt to do with, with a, a, a visual novel game that you have played before. If you haven't played it before, then, you know, you get the first playthrough crowd. And that can be something. But if you have played the game before, I don't know what you can do. Uh, does he alternate? Like, I'm, I will probably end up having to save the count for next stream, as well as Proto Man. But luckily, Count Proto Man and Django are the only ones I need left. Uh, before we could go to Graveyard. But yeah, he, sadly, Monzai, like those games you suggested, Ghost Trick, Ace Attorney, and Psychonauts, you may like them, you may have a lot of interest in streaming those, they're probably not that popular, and you probably won't get that many people to show up, other than maybe, like, your usuals. I mean, you'll, you'll probably get people that... If you have people that constantly show up to your streams, you might get them to show up. But you're probably not going to get that many new people. But also, another factor is when you stream, your hours. Like, I feel like I could probably do a little bit better if I, str if I like, started stream at, like, 5 p.m. for me. It's like, like, in a... Like in another hour. Like, I probably would do a little bit better. Maybe. But, you know, this is just the best time for me to do so. Struggles, small stream, life is tough. You get used to streaming to zero for a while. Exactly. And for me, it's almost been three years since I get in there. And there's things like 
but sometimes you gotta work. Exactly. Like, I, that just goes apart with what I was just saying. My hour, me personally at, at the very least, my hours are probably hindering you. When you stream is probably a factor. Constantly have issues where they suddenly are too afraid to join streams due to the mental. Hmm, weird. Early mornings, you get a lot of UK viewer friends. Yeah, that is also true. Yeah, like. Depending on when you stream, you might get, like. <laughs> you might get some uh, people from a different country as your regulars. Although, I think my time frame is kind of. I'm not really getting other countries that much. But again, it also what games you stream is also a factor. There are many factors to consider. But you one thing you got you're considering is like I, I'm gonna use myself as an example right here. I just said that I think that when I stream is a factor, right? If I were to stream or start stream in an hour, right? And that's when my normal hours are. That's when the majority of streamers probably stream, right? So I'm competing. I would be competing with the with the bigger names, right? But after a certain point, that's probably just what you have to do. Like, I don't know. After a certain point, you just you just kind of have to keep going, and maybe you just might have to play a more popular game to try to find try to find that new regular. You know what I mean? Stream in the mornings, your regular never comes anyway. You streamed in the mornings in Japan, right? But again. You might just need to find a more popular game and hope when you do play that more popular game, you find a new regular. field? Oh, okay, that ain't gonna work. And I think there is also another issue that we're not mentioning. There are probably way more streamers than there are viewers. Some people that would normally stream, or uh, some people that would normally watch you also stream. And most of the time, they may even be streaming at the same time as you. I think there might be a problem with too many pe too many streamers versus viewers sometimes. You're in the top 1% of Twitch. I guess that says a lot, doesn't it? You think that number would be higher, you know? 
but if that's if 50 is the number we i think part of we might be setting our expectations a little bit too high then because right now i'm hitting six and for some people hitting 10 is a benchmark right like it's uh it is what it is this ain't there's a ton of streamers below that view count that weighs the higher view counts mm -hmm. there's just a lot to consider and also another thing to ask i'm not saying this is the but how how much is, is there a difference between uh, the view counts that one would get when they show their face, like what I'm doing now, versus a PNG or a VTuber that does the same thing? You know? I wonder how much of a factor is... Because a lot of the problem is you need that person to click on your stream, right? They need to... For some reason, there needs to be something in that that thumbnail image something about that thumbnail needs to get their attention right and I, pardon me wonders if like that png or that uh the png or the vtuber look is more appealing than the irl right and sometimes you just need that person to click on your stream just once, you know? And then they'll stick around. Well, I guess we'll go... Wish I had the stats on that. Yeah, I know. PNG tuber, your avatar is a little bit too bland. Well, um... Isn't your avatar, like, uh, just basically you, but drawn? It might be a little bit too bland if that's the case. And here's the thing, Juice. Eventually, eventually, the robot design that I have right there, I eventually want to go into the... PNG VTuber route with that, but I just, it's a money issue, right? But that's the eventual thing. But once I actually can fully do that, I might get a direct comparison. Maybe. Who knows? You can, one can only hope, right? <laughs> one second. I gotta wrap it up soon. I'll, I want to give the count like one or two more attempts, but that's all I got. But yeah, um, I do wonder if if a lot of the time you just need that per that one person to click on that stream once, you need to have a better looking overlay. And sometimes maybe that PNG VTuber look is more appealing than IRL. I don't know. It's hard to say. You are a PNG. Maybe your avatar is a little bit too bland. A little silly man version of you. Like a little cartoon version. Yeah. That might that might be just too bland for most people, maybe. Do you watch PNG streamers, but I prefer you prefer real people. Right. But uh just I wonder how like that is you, but I wonder how many people think the same way. That's a that's a question I don't have an answer for. I'm just spitballing here. But that's the thing. Even if most people like IRL streamers, a lot of the times the PNG look or the VTuber look might be more visually appeal a, a, appealing than just someone sitting in front of the camera. So, Juice, what you're saying is if I go PNG or VTuber, 
now uh, you're gonna lose interest because you prefer an IRL look. That's what you're trying to tell me, right? There's a chance I might lose some audience if I go that route because some people just don't like the PNG aspect. So I got to check this. Maybe BM fans would want to see that. <laughs> knowledgeable yeah but, but that here's uh you even watch with no pants too right that's a different meta like uh act does no cam or png and we got one more attempt uh well yeah monza another thing to consider is how much you're cross promoting like are you posting things to YouTube and cross-promoting? Are you posting things to Twitter and, and cross-promoting? That is another factor. Uh, I just can't figure out. Fights. Very nice streamer friends a lot of is being a YouTuber. Yeah, right. But that's the thing. A lot of the times, it's like you'll probably watch can uh, IRL or PNG or VTuber, and you don't really care what it is. But for a lot of people, what is more likely to get you to click on that stream the first time, right? That's what matters a lot. You post when you're streaming to three discords, and you make clips very rarely, but outside of them. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I don't really post to Twitter. I'm bad on the social media aspect. I haven't really posted, other than just you know re-uploading this, this the vlog, the vlogs to YouTube. I don't really do any cross promotion. The only thing that's close to that is me working on the Iron Weapons Only Fire Emblem and just making like a condensed video on it about what happened. But I don't know how that will do until the video is done. But like. Cross promotion is a big factor. Uh, but again, like, it's kind of hard. Like, y you may be someone that might be more on the. I'm more knowledge about, I'm more knowledgeable on this subject. You might learn things about this game as a, you know, when you watch me. But that's not conveyed that well from the thumbnail. If that makes sense. That's something that someone has to click on your stream. And then hopefully you're talking about a, a subject that you're knowledgeable on, you know? Because I have the problem of not knowing what to talk about. It's definitely a lot easier when you have people in chat to talk to. I'll say that. <laughs> there is definitely a clear difference with the conversations we're having when uh, no one's in chat versus when someone else is in chat. There is definitely a clear difference. But yeah. Uh, I gotta wrap it up. I got something going on here soon. Uh, thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottpot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the about page as well as like the panels now. There's those links. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow, more count gotta try to beat the count gotta try to upgrade proto man and get his ex and sp chips and get django 3 and then we can move on to graveyard 2 it's fun to hang out definitely. yeah see see you all later it is nice to actually talk to people in chat sometimes it definitely makes this go by a lot better than just playing the game anyway have a good day later